So Holo's main revenue source is the 1% transaction fee on Holo Fuel. And you can think of this kind of like the service fee that Airbnb charges for matchmaking you with places to stay. And they charge somewhere around 12%, 10 or 12%. Um, and we're charging significantly less than that and able to kind of guarantee more consistency. So we're essentially matchmaking applications with hosts, right? And then matchmaking web users with hosts that are hosting those applications. Um, so we're, meet, we're meeting, matchmaking the application people with hosts that actually fit their profile, that fit the needs for them to provide the hosting power in the way that they require it. Um, and uh, we charge 1%. That's that's the revenue model. That's not too high. Yeah, the next question is, isn't that too high? Shouldn't you be charging 0.1%? Wouldn't that be more reasonable? You know, uh, no, I don't think 1% is anywhere too high. Again, if you compare it with Uber or Airbnb or existing cloud hosting infrastructure where you're paying 100% to them, right? As opposed to paying, we're only taking 1% of what gets paid to the hosts. Um, and when you consider comparing us to the rest of the decentralization space, right? Like running dApps on Ethereum costs millions of times more in gas fees than to power those same things on a centralized cloud, cloud hosting platform. We think we can provide the same kind of decentralization, in some ways even more decentralization than Ethereum and be able to have the, we'll see the, the prices start to drop down into the range to become competitive with cloud hosting, AWS type, type price prices.